Hi, Mom. It's been three months since you left. I don't try to remember, just like I don't try to wake up around three in the morning. It just happens. It seems my mind is a little stuck. I have a quiet, constant stutter or hiccup on the memory of you leaving. Like a movie projector that ran out of film, but it keeps on spinning, making that annoying sound. It's my new background noise. Most of the time, I don't let myself notice or think about it. I try to put as many distractions as I can between me and thinking of you. When that doesn't work, I sleep. Anything to cause a fog. Blur my thoughts just enough. I don't want to notice your absence. I don't want to miss you. I don't want to remember or think of you because it all leads to the same place. You're gone. I can't do anything about it. I miss you. I loved you. All of that, it hurts. Maybe that's an awful way to think. I really don't know. But if I start to relax, my mind will drift to places that I don't want to go. I still haven't figured out what to do with all the pain. It was three in the morning when Elijah told me he got the call. He rushed to be with you. I called Matthew, and I don't even know what I said. He knew it was bad, and he reassured me that it would be okay. He left to go see you too. I called Grandma next. I wanted to make sure she knew. They had already called her, and she went to say goodbye. I was too far away. I tell myself that all the time. I was too far away. That's why I wasn't with you. But the real sucker punch is, we both know I wouldn't have been there. Which is pretty terrible of me, huh? I never had to deal with death. It's not hard to do if you limit how many people you let really close to you. It's supposed to be safer that way. Nothing can really happen to the people you love if you only let a few people in. I think of it as, if you only plant five flowers, and that's all you need, those five flowers are yours. They're special and meaningful, and nothing bad should happen to them. Because some people need a whole garden. All I wanted was a few flowers. You may not notice a flower or two missing if you plant enough seeds to have a whole garden of your own. But when you only have a few flowers to begin with, by design, you never expect yours to get plucked. Then when it does, you notice it missing. You can't just think it was always four. No. Every day, you notice a missing flower. You see the hole where it used to be, now empty. So fog, I just try to distract myself or sleep. Anything to put some fog or blurriness in between me and you. That's where I am in my life without you. Under it all, maybe the worst thought that I try and hide away is, did you know how much I loved you? Did you know I really cared? The generic, warm, fuzzy greeting card reply is, of course you knew. You loved and cared for me too. We'd be cute, fuzzy animals hugging on the front, and there would be a warm, happy feelings all around. But life is rarely as bright and fluffy as people paint it to be. Anyway, Mom, I really miss you, and I wish you didn't leave me.